We thought the A batch was one of the best whiskeys we've had this year. Let's see if the B batch stands up to that. Hi friends, I'm Laura, this is Troy, we're Baker Drinks, and we've got Larceny B524 to review for you today. So this is the weeded bourbon that comes from Heaven Hill. They come out with an A, B, and C batch every year. This is B524, so it came out in May 2024, and they're Larceny barrel proof. They don't have an age statement like the Elijah Craig, so there aren't people don't have to hate on it because there is no age statement, but it is six to eight year old whiskey, somewhere in that range. Uh, if Elijah Craig just said it was 10 to 12 year old whiskey, people would probably be happy with them. <laughs> but since they have an age statement, people get upset based on it. Uh, this one's 125.4 proof and it is cheaper than the Elijah Craig. It is an MSRP of $65. We got that for $65 because we went to Oregon. And we're gonna give away some whiskey with this video. We'll give you the, the secret code at the end of the video, but stick around to find out what to enter in the comments for a two ounce sample of this Larceny. So very excited to get into it. Let's try it. Yeah, so historically, Laura and I are not big fans of Larceny. And the Larceny Barrel Proof is definite upgrade to the Larceny, uh, just the shelf bottle. And batch to batch to batch, they have been growing on us. Yeah, the first few batches, we were like, eh, not so great. The last, gosh, like four batches. <laughs> so quite a few we have been big fans of. So, uh, I mean, Good price too, just a great price. With how whiskey prices are, a barrel proof whiskey at $65, not a bad deal. Yeah, I, I mean, you're gonna buy that all day long in most cases. As long as it tastes good. So that's the important thing, let's get into it. So we're back in the wee glens today. And like our last review last month, or last Tuesday, we had reviewed this the night before, wrote down our thoughts. We're just gonna see if we can't pull anything extra out of it today while we talk about the reviews. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to you. Again, just like the Elijah Craig, I'm getting a lot of sweet oak. Um, but this one is more, it doesn't, it's more like dessert. It smells like dessert. Yeah, I get like a, almost like a candy corn smell on it. Hmm. With like if you're if if you're so candy corn is a Halloween type treat. So if you're at the pumpkin patch and you're out in the field and you can kind of smell the the hay and all that and you get a little bit of candy corn, all that melded together with some sweet oak. I, I don't know. I, I'm not a huge fan of the nose of this. See, I'm like, I, I, can, I could appreciate your candy corn there. It's very sweet. I'm also getting um, some berry notes. <laughs> I don't normally, okay, fruit is one of my favorite notes. No, <laughs> fruit is one of my favorite notes on whiskey. Uh, so I definitely look for it. And this one, it's like berry, which I don't think I've ever gotten a berry note on a Larceny before, but uh, I'm going with it today. I'm enjoying it. All right. But sweet, sweet, candy corn, caramel, a little bit of burnt sugar. It's, it's very sugary sweet. Yeah, and you know, I, I said it last week, I'll say it again today. I think the Wee Glen eliminates that ethanol burn that you get. Maybe because there's less of the concentrate. There's less curve inward. Because I'm not getting the ethanol burn that was really predominant when we reviewed it last night. Um, but this, the nose is still, to me, pretty muted. Um, it, it's just okay. I'm saying the aroma is a seven and the depth is a seven. I'm just not pulling much out of this. I gave it a seven on aroma and an eight on depth because I think there is a lot going on, but it's... Uh, 
because there's not as much of that fruity note, it's mostly just sweet. If you like sweet, that's what you're gonna like. It's very desserty. And historically, that's been the one note, sweet and, and burny. <laughs> Sometimes, which, yeah. Which is why we haven't been the biggest fans of this, but the last, like we said, the last few batches, it's it's been growing on us. Let's taste it. So, we did the review of the Elijah Craig and I said it was all about the mouth experience. It was just oily and like, you couldn't get away from thinking about that. This one, it's only five proof points difference, but I'm not getting that same thing. It's very soft, it's approachable, you get a lot of flavor from it. Um, this one's a lot easier of a sipper, which could get you in trouble because it does not come across as 125 proof. I usually like my whiskey. My favorite whiskeys are probably 110 or less. Um, so 125 proof, I get a little nervous about. I am, I'm always thinking, oh, that's just gonna be not my go-to kind of thing. Yeah. This one, I think, could get me in an, into a lot of trouble where I'm like, oh yeah, this is enjoyable, not too high proof, and then suddenly I drink too much whiskey and I'm tipsy. That's what I'm getting from it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's it's sweet, it's super syrupy, almost like uh, the, the caro, the clear corn syrup. I get that kind of vibe on it. Um, there is a touch of the wheat funk that you would expect on a weeder. Laura already said it, it's definitely softer on the palate than the ECBP. And I get that like just as a, a general rule with, with high proof weeders, they're a lot, tend to be a lot softer on the palate than uh, a rye secondary grain. Um, it, it's, and I don't know, I, I heard someone else say this and it made a lot of sense to me. It's kind of sticky. So like I take I take a sip of it and you run your tongue around the inside of your mouth. You can feel it on your teeth, you can feel it on the insides of your mouth. This is got it's very coating. I don't want to say viscous, but it is syrupy. So it's it's thick, you know, it's there's just a lot to it. I'm I'm liking the palate on this way better than the nose. This whiskey really showed up on the palate. I gave it an eight for flavor, a nine for feel. It's extremely well balanced. There's no sharp edges anywhere. You know, it's it's got the right amount of sweetness, the right amount of spice. It lingers. It it's just a great, well-rounded, well-balanced whiskey. I gave it a nine on the balance and an eight on the complexity. So for this one, I again, I think uh, it's very sweet, desserty. There is a little touch of that wheat funk that you get with them, but it's not off-putting to me. I'm would generally consider myself not a weeded bourbon fan. I mean, I like them, but it's not my go-to kind of thing. I, I usually would prefer pretty much uh, just a regular bourbon or a rye over a weeded bourbon most cases, but this I'm really enjoying. I give it an eight on flavor, eight on feel, eight on balance, eight on complexity. So just solid. I think it's just solid all the way across. Um, and then let's get to the finish. I need another sip before I decide. <laughs> Yeah, that stickiness. Yeah, I, I feel like the wheat funk, that's where it really comes through, is on the finish. Um, but it's sweet, it's lingering, it's pleasant. There's nothing out, nothing off-putting about this. So again, eight and eight, it's just solid. Yeah, so I said it was like a long, lingering, sweet finish. Um, definitely no bitterness. It's just sweet from start to finish. I gave it an eight and a half and an eight and a half. I'm, I'm really enjoying this pour. I wish it had a better nose. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, overall, this is what you want in a bourbon. And it's a good price. It, they come out with three batches a year. The first, you know, few we got, not a huge fan. Last year, there was one that everyone else loved, but it drank too hot for me. This one, just solid. I can't say that I'm like absolutely blown away by anything, but I'm happy about every aspect of the whiskey. It, it's one, if, uh, if we, 
future. <laughs> if we finished bottles more frequently, I could see this one being one that we would replace. Chances of us finishing it in the next couple of years, very slim. And with three batches About coming out, zero. <laughs> <laughs> and with three batches coming out a year, I'm not going to back it up. But if we weren't getting every batch, I would get another batch of this and be happy with it. Yeah, it, it's it's very good. Like I said, I, I just wish it had a better nose. Um, it's a it's another solid release. I feel like the Larceny line is just improving with each new release. You know, two of the three last year were in Fred Minnick's top five for the year. I mean, I probably wouldn't have done that myself, but <laughs> who am I to say that he's wrong? <laughs> yeah, I mean, who's Fred Minnick, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but uh, I, I gave this uh, an impression of an 8.5. It would have been a much higher impression had it had a better nose. And value 8.5, I mean, it's just... $65 for that. Exactly. Uh, 125 proof six to eight year whiskey. I mean, it's delicious. It, it's delicious. I scored it an 82. One. I gave it a score of a 79, but I'm thinking I was probably grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I... Laura grumpy? <laughs> what? I mean, I don't... This, this bottle does not like blow me away like this is the best thing I've ever had, but I would be happy any day this was in my glass. Yeah. I, like, I, it's solid. It is just straight up solid. I enjoy it. There's nothing bad I can say about it, honestly. Uh, it's just not the best whiskey I've ever had in my life, which yeah. is why I scored it a little bit lower. But it, everything's solid about it. There's nothing, nothing I could say bad, literally nothing. Yeah, so I feel like the A batch benefited in its score, and it's a great bottle too, but it benefited in its score because we drank it right after the ECBP A batch, which was a dud, and it really stood out. This one, we drank it after a solid ECBP, and I feel it's equally as good. They're both great releases. If you find either of these out in the wild, you won't be disappointed with either one of them. Yeah. I guess um, some cinnamon showing up now. What word should they enter in the comments to enter to win a sample? Leave us a comment and put sticky whiskey in there somehow. I want to see you fit that into your comment. <laughs> well, that's going to be an interesting sentence, I'm sure. So <laughs> thank you for that, Troy. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope you enjoy our reviews. We try to come up with a new review every Tuesday for you. So come back for the next one. We'll see what it is. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you again soon. Cheers. Cheers.